everyone is questioning why is there a Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 but not a Dread 2? And I'm just sitting here questioning why is there a Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 but not Hellboy 3? I mean, come on! I want to see Ron Perlman as Hellboy for the third time, damn it! Hellboy's awesome, can you really blame me? Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. So Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 stars Kevin James, Rainey Rodriguez, David Henry, and Gary Valentine. So Paul Blart hasn't been having a good time lately. His love interest, which he got to marry, she left him after six days of marriage. Then he just recently lost his mother, and his daughter, played by Ray Rodriguez, you know, she's getting ready to go to college and all that stuff. So Paul Blart and his daughter, they all go on the vacation to Las Vegas. But then, of course, as expected, something is going terribly wrong. So now it's up to Paul Blart to stop these people who are apparently stealing art from this hotel. So going into Paul Blart Mall Cop 2, I thought it just looks so unnecessary. I really did not like the first trailer at all. I cringed every time I had to sit through that freaking first trailer. But then the second trailer, I won't lie, actually made me go, you know, maybe a sequel isn't so bad. I still thought it was unnecessary, but I was actually kind of reaching up to the sequel just a little because I did like the first Paul Blart movie. I thought the 2009 film was funny, it was fun, and I just thought it was a very enjoyable time. But maybe, who knows, this could be a good sequel, right? <laughs> I think Kevin James is one of the most likable actors today. I really like him. But this movie... Wow! I could not believe how bad Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 was. But there's a couple of positives I do have. One thing, I did like Kevin James here. I thought Kevin James does do a good job in the movie. I thought he was very energetic. And you could tell he was having fun. He's Kevin James. You know, he may not make the best movies ever. I mean, I could definitely see that. But the guy, you could tell he has fun on screen. He's very charismatic. And for the crappy script that he has to work with, I still thought Kevin James does a good job as Paul Blart. I did think Rainy Rodriguez and David Henry did a very nice job. There were a few times where I did laugh watching this movie. And that's all I got for positives. Seriously, there was not much I liked about the movie. So now let's get to my negatives. The first negative is obviously going to be a huge failure. This is a comedy movie and the jokes are horrible. I mean, seriously, when this movie opens, right from the beginning of this movie, the jokes were already painful and we're expected to laugh like okay yeah Paul Blart's wife left him after six days of marriage yeah we're supposed to laugh at that Paul Blart's mom got uh, hit by some kind of milk truck and died yeah we're supposed to laugh at that too the jokes just felt lazy and they're the jokes you would see in the original Paul Blart movie the thing about the jokes is that not only were they unbearable and painful but how they were executed man was it just terrible the logic in this movie is just insane. You have Paul Blart hiding from all of these guys right here. Okay, where is he? And then he's like hiding behind some tree, but he's like showing his face. He's like, oh, look, we found him. It's like, Blart, are you trying to get yourself shown? And then Paul Blart himself was not likable because he just has a big ego to him. Everything has to be like, oh yeah, I'm the mall cop. Yes, I did save Black Friday six years ago. He thinks he knows everything, but he really 
does not. And there's times where he's actually quite a douchebag. Like, not even douchebag in a funny way, just douchebag in a very rude way. I'm all like, Paul Blart, what happened to that likable idiot we saw in the first film? He was a likable idiot. Now, he's just an unlikable, rude, self-centered douchebag that has a big fucking ego to him. Paul Blart punches an old woman. I'm supposed to laugh at that? Am I really supposed to think that's really funny? The villains themselves are also so bland. I mean, the actors who played the villains in the original Paul Blart, at least they looked like they were having fun. And you know, I thought the villains were pretty decent. You know, they were just there for Paul Blart to take them down, which I thought was funny how the first one handled it. And here, it's just not really done as well because it just feels so lazy. The movie does have a very forced father-daughter storyline to it that I just did not give a crap about. And then in this movie, you do have stupid moments like, this girl that's kind of hitting on Paul Blar. She would give him the information to go take down these bad guys. She's pretty much trying to hide the fact that her heart is beating for Paul Blar. And it's frustrating as hell. I couldn't believe what I was watching. The biggest failure for a comedy is when it's painfully not Funny. And that's exactly what Paul Blart Mall Cup 2 is. Besides a few laughs and a few chuckles, the comedy is an atrocity. And the direction is okay, but like, what can the direction really do with the script that is just so terrible? So I'm going to give Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 1 out of 4 stars. And it's such a shame considering this is coming from the same dude that actually liked the 2009 original film. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. And don't be ashamed if you did like the sequel. Comedies are going to be subjective. So I may hate the movie, a lot of people may hate the movie, but who knows, maybe you'll have a better time than I did. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!